Members of a Northeast D.C. church congregation are wondering if their church's days are numbered. They learned in the, new, in the newspaper earlier this month that their church building that they thought was debt free was actually in foreclosure. And a story you'll see only on 7, D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is outside of Beulah Baptist Church of Deanwood Heights. He's got the story for us tonight. Sam, good evening. Good evening, Leon. Well, the pastor of Beulah Baptist Church, the Reverend Marcus Turner, declined our request for an on-camera interview. But we've heard from a number of members that his actions may be threatening the very existence of this century-old church, and they would like to know where did the money go? Several times this past week, people arriving for services at D.C.'s Beulah Baptist have been met with members and former members holding protest signs like Deaconess Dolores Brown. We're concerned about the auctioning of our church. She's talking about this auction notice in the February 1st Washington Post about the sale of a building currently used as a church, their church, set for February 11th. The church itself had uh, was supposed to be free and clear of any debt. Apparently it was until six years ago when Pastor Marcus Turner used the church as collateral to borrow $3.2 million from the Columbia Bank. I want to talk from the subject God is still God. Members started digging and found he's president and chairman of BCI, the Beulah Community Improvement Corporation, and that a church trustee sold the church to BCI for $10. If I looked at it personally, I would say it's an affront to the people. With the millions in loan money, BCI was paying the pastor, working on a development deal with the city that fell apart. Then there was financial trouble. The auction was called by SMS Financial of Phoenix, which had acquired the loan. But before the February 11th date, the auction was suddenly canceled. What happened? Neither the pastor nor the lender would tell us why. But 35-year members like Alva Hines we want to know what happened to the money. We want to know how the uh, building was used for collateral. Why weren't we told early on? So the protests. We spoke on the phone with Pastor Turner, who said that the members should not have been worried. They should have trusted in the pastor to work things out. Well, after yesterday's protest, the pastor issued this statement saying that there would be a business meeting here at the church next Sunday so that they could clarify the facts in this matter and dispel any myths that you might have heard or read. Uh, some members say they are concerned because any auction that can be canceled can also be rescheduled at a later date. Reporting live from Northeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.